morning, Millie Maddox. I am your host, Taylor, and today is Monday, March 4th. The national day for today is National Grammar Day. Did you know an, an inspiration person named Amanda Gorman worked and still works on making women voices heard? Now let's tune in for a report now from Mr. Stewart. Good morning, Miller Mavericks, and a wonderful Monday to everyone. Hope you're having a marvelous start to this Monday, and you had a great weekend this past weekend, and you are ready to finish this week successfully and being very, very productive. We have lots of things going on this week, and let me get started by giving you just some quick reminders with regards to dress code. As you know, Mr. Stewart has been reminding you for the past week about dress code because of what I'm seeing around the building as I walk the building. Every student must be in dress code every day, and that includes your jackets. So teachers, I'm asking, please help us out by doing those dress code checks every morning during class. If students are out of dress code, send them to the front office. If it's a dress code jacket, they need to take it off, put it over the chair, put it in the backpack, or put it away. So please help us with that, please. Hope everyone was able to attend the sixth grade dual language Black History Museum. It was amazing. It was amazing. So hope you were able to be engaged in that. Uh, sixth grade dual language, thank you all so much. Much, much appreciated for putting that on. And it was marvelous. It was marvelous. Okay, what you guys did as a class, it was incredible. So thank you all so much. That was, we really, really enjoyed it. I know I did. Tomorrow, fifth grade, you will take your fifth grade science star interim assessment. Make sure that you get a good, nice rest tonight and you come tomorrow morning eating a good, nutritious breakfast so that you can be uh, have that energy to, to sustain yourself throughout that test. Read the test carefully. Read, read those questions carefully and select the correct answers. Take it very seriously. Okay, you've been taught well and I know you will do well also. but. For you to do that, stay focused, read carefully, and select those correct answers. Use your scratch paper. You will have scratch paper as well, so use your scratch paper to take notes. Today, we'll also have our fifth and sixth grade. You'll be taking your uh, language arts, reading language arts, CBA as well. And at the end of the week, you'll be doing your math CBA for both grades. And I believe uh, this Wednesday, I believe you have a fifth grade social studies CBA. So we have lots of assessments going on this week. Staff meeting is going to be tomorrow after school. So staff, please uh, be in, a, in attendance for that. We'll be going over some star information. So please be in attendance. And that's going to be tomorrow in the library at 430. Grades are due at the end of this week, boys and girls, and that is your report card, not progress report, but your report card grade. That's going to be due. Very, very important. So this is a week that you need to make sure that all missing assignments are turned in. I'm not talking about turning in on Thursday. I'm talking about turning in, getting them done now and turned in now. So talk to your teachers with regards to that. And as you know, next week will be our spring break. So the 11th through the 15th will be um, spring break for us, and then we will resume school the following week. We have some students who are celebrating birthdays today, so let's see who those students are. And as usual, I ask the Extreme team to join me in wishing these students happy birthday. Samantha Bogato, Oscar Tavares, Ashley Yannis, Marianne Mercado, and I believe that is it for students. So happy birthday, everyone. Best wishes for your birthday. And I know you're going to enjoy the day and make it very, very productive as well. And joining you today, wishing this staff member a very, very happy birthday is Miss Guillory. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. And hope you took the opportunity to do a pre-celebration over the weekend. So happy birthday to y'all, and again, best wishes, and I know you're going to make it a wonderful, wonderful day and very, very productive as well. So with that, I close the announcements for today. Have a very, very productive and successful, marvelous Monday, and for the rest of the week as well, make sure that you're leveling up every moment of the day. So check yourself, stay focused, and pay attention and be productive 
be successful. Have a wonderful Monday, everyone, and I'll see you around the building. will be at 74 degrees cloudy a 16 percent chance of rain and a seven miles seven miles per hour wind speed while this at 12 p.m will be 75 cloudy 16 percent chance of rain and a seven percent chance seven percent wind miles while this at 1 p.m will be 77 cloudy at 15 percent of rain at 7 miles per hour wind speed. At dismissal today at 3 o'clock, it will be at 78 degrees, cloudy, 21 percentage, percentage of rain, and 7 miles per hour wind speed. At dismissal at 4 o'clock, it will be at 77 degrees, cloudy, and 23% chance of rain, with an 8% mile of wind speed. All right, Miller Mavericks, now it's time for our Miller Intermediate Jessica check. Ladies, only dime size earrings. Be sure you are in your uniform shirt. Only plain white undershirts, only plain brown or plain black belts, navy or khaki pants, uniform coats and jackets, and be sure you have your ID or tab. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. As a Miller Maverick, I will make good choices, involve myself responsibly, listen, learn all I can, excel beyond expectations, respect myself and others, Mavericks ride with pride from good to great.